Which cast member from Blacklist was linked to a Twilight actress a few years back? Which actor was once a professional dancer before making it in Hollywood? Which actor has a multi-million dollar contract? James Spader Who remembers James Spader's brief stint on The Office? He played the no-nonsense role of Robert California. These days, he's playing Raymond Reddington on Blacklist. Back in 2014, Rolling Stone labeled him the strangest man on TV, which says a lot to anyone who might be curious about what it's like to spend a day with him. He is known for being a super intense man who takes on quirky, oddball Hollywood roles. James has been dating Leslie Stephenson since 2002, and although they haven't tied the knot, James has been married before. Between 1987 and 2004, he was married to Victoria Spader. He shares three kids with his ex-wife, Sebastian, Elijah, and Nathaniel. In terms of his role on Blacklist, James said, I'm just someone who doesn't like to act too much. Yeah, I know that sounds odd given I'm about to star in a weekly drama on a broadcast network. Here I am, acting way too much, once again, but it's more that I like living my life as much as I like working. Basically, I can consume just as much unemployment time as I can employment time. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Along with acting, James also has some interesting hobbies. He's admitted that he did yoga with his ex-wife Victoria and that he enjoys listening to music by Bob Dylan. According to The Hollywood Reporter, when the show first premiered, James was earning around $160,000 per episode, which comes out to over $3.5 million each season. Now that the show has gained more traction, he is earning $300,000 per episode. We did the math and that comes out to a whopping $6.6 .6 million per season. As of right now, he is the highest paid star on NBC. Talk about impressive. Megan Boone Megan plays an FBI agent and profiler named Elizabeth Keene on Blacklist. She was also a regular actress on other crime-focused TV shows like Law & Order LA and Blue Bloods back in the day. In real life, Megan leaves the law enforcement stuff to the professionals and sticks to modeling and acting. She has been in a relationship with Dan Estrabrook since 2016, and they share one child together, Caroline. According to WNY Papers, Megan is dedicated to her craft and willing to give up most of her time in order to make sure Blacklist episodes turn out the way they are supposed to. She said, I have more experience than most of the actors in the world now that I've done this show. If I could count up all the hours I've acted over the last two years, it's probably more than 99% of working actors have in a lifetime. While the amount of money she earns per episode is unclear, what the world does know is that she has a net worth of $3 million according to CelebrityNetWorth.com. Out of all her past roles collectively, it is easy to assume that she acquired her net worth mainly from her time on Blacklist. Fun fact about Megan Boone? She was the first person to be officially cast on the hit TV show back in 2013 before all the other actors were chosen, even James Spader. Diego Klattenhoff Diego Klattenhoff once worked as a bartender to make ends meet before getting his big Hollywood break. Nowadays, people recognize him more than ever as FBI agent Donald Rustler. Unfortunately for his fans, what we know about his fictional character persona is so much more than we know about his personal life. On the show, we saw him have a relationship with Audrey Bidwell before she passed away. In real life, Diego is married, but we don't know anything about his wife. We don't even know what her name is. According to Celebrity, he has no interest in making his relationship a public thing, and neither does his wife. He said, she is a typical lady who doesn't like attention one bit. Simple enough. Sources say he has a son, but that is not something he has confirmed or denied. It is possible that the secrets of Diego's life will never be uncovered because he values his privacy that much. As far as his salary goes, TV Overmind estimates that he pulls in around $235,000 a year and has a current net worth of $2 million. Hisham Tafik. Hisham Tafik is known for his role as security detail man, Dembe Zuma. The character he plays is resourceful, intelligent, and cunning. The real-life Hisham might not be too different from the character he plays for the show. In real life, he is married to Spirit Tafik, and they share a son. Just like Diego Klattenhoff, Hisham doesn't really like to let the world in on his personal life, and that includes details about his family. He is rarely ever photographed with his wife or son. Hisham doesn't just limit himself to acting either. He used to be a professional dancer, firefighter, and at one point, he was in the Marines. 
His passion for acting has been a lifelong dream of his, and before getting on TV, he starred in a theater production of A Raisin in the Sun, a life-changing and mega-inspiring play. He has an estimated net worth of $200,000 at the moment, which should only continue increasing since the character he plays on Blacklist is so totally beloved. Ryan Eggold Ryan Eggold might play a married man on Blacklist, but in real life, he is as simple as they come. On the show, he plays Tom Keene, married to Elizabeth Keene. In real life, he's been pretty open and honest about his relationship status. When asked if he was engaged to any women on the Today Show in 2018, he responded by saying, No, I'm not engaged. Who said that? I am the same old broken alone man that you met from last time. Although those words might sound a tad depressing, it seems like he's taking single life all in stride and more than anything, playing with sarcasm to lighten the mood on the subject. When asked in that same interview if he wanted kids someday, he said, Oh yeah, yeah, big time, definitely. I would love to have kids. Having a baby on TV is great training for having a kid. I'm very much looking forward to parenting, whenever that comes. The last time he was publicly linked to someone, it was back in 2008 with Ashley Green, the popular Twilight starlet. Although the two were spotted hanging out, they both never confirmed if they were really together or not. Ryan has started every episode of Blacklist so far and has a reported net worth of around $3 million. This TV show was definitely not his first time in front of the camera, though. Who remembers seeing him on the CW's rebooted version of 90210 between 2008 and 2013? He played the handsome high school teacher all the students had a crush on. Are you shocked at how much money James Spader is earning per season? Which Blacklist actor or actress do you think should be earning way more? Which actor's off-camera lifestyle seems to be the most fun? Let us know in the comments below.